with subscription-based music streaming and gaining popularity by the day and the market saturated with smartphones, do we still need the old school iPod like this one or an MP3 player? Now I'm not talking about iPods with internet connectivity because they're basically phones anyway, you can do Skype calls, all those kind of things. No, we're talking about old school ones like this one that needs stuff stored locally on the device's local storage. Now, with features being consolidated to one device, otherwise known as the phone, we're seeing the need for standalone devices sort of become less and less to the point where some devices such as the flip video camera not even being a thing anymore and little point and shoots being a very rare few that actually use it who are into photography and stuff and actually rather using one of them than the built-in camera. Now then we get to the point of this, do we still need one? Now some people will say completely no because they have to carry around an extra thing, that's an extra thing to buy, charge, keep alive, put a case on, all those kind of things and to some it's just completely useless. So again, do we still need them? Now for some that would be a definite yes. Now these are the people which might have huge back long libraries that are like huge many years go back or they just like buying physical media and ripping that to their devices or anything along those lines. Now also too it might be for someone who doesn't have good data on the go. Maybe they don't have a data plan at all on the go or maybe their internet in their country is just rubbish and they'd rather spend a few hours downloading songs rather than trying to wait a few minutes for every time they want to stream a song which could add up to a lot of hours being wasted. But for most it will definitely be a thing of the past because with most people owning a device today that own some sort of Google Play Music access, YouTube streaming service that is going to come out soon, so stay tuned to that, we're going to do a video. Also two things like Spotify are coming out and even free things like the Pandora free version are also great options. Now all of these will require some sort of internet connection and a device with an internet connection and these old school iPod and MP3 players just don't have that connection. Now to some you can never replace one of these and I do agree with you, I can never replace my iPod. It's a great device, though I can't use it that much because I don't actually have that many songs. Now for someone like me who's already invested in subscription-based music, moving to one of these standalone devices costs me about $5,000 if I was going to do that because of all the music I have over playlists and all that kind of stuff that I've sort of gathered together over the past few years kind of outweigh the actual want to do that. I'd rather just pay my $11 a month and be done with that than try and make my own library up and also to storage on these devices aren't always the best. Yes, you have the iPod Classics, but they're mechanical hard drives. You drop this thing, the whole library is gone. And if you haven't backed it up and you've got new songs on there, you're kind of gone. So yes, if we go and check out Google Trends, we see the trend for iPod or MP3 player drop significantly in the past few years and the trends for these music streaming services go up in a few years and they do cross over showing the point where these devices are becoming obsolete. Also too if we go and see the Apple website we see Apple has completely dropped these iPod classics because they've too have seen the light where they don't really want to sell these because no one is buying them anymore and to be honest with you I'm kind of with them, unfortunately, on that point. So, to answer your question simply, yes, these devices are not needed anymore. Unfortunately, I do like mine, but the only thing I can really find a use for it is a 100 gig external hard drive that stealthily looks like an iPod because, to be honest with you, I just have no use for one of these devices at all. Maybe you do, and on that note, you can like or dislike the video accordingly. Let me know, am I completely wrong? I hope I am. I mean, I do certainly like mine, but again, I just can't find use. Maybe you have a cool use for it. If you do, please let us know in the comments. Also, do give us a sub if you like iPods in general, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Thank you for watching.